You know, now when they say little Pete, we see uh, uh, a regular size Pete right here. You think we could back this baby up and kind of really compare uh, how a difference in size is really is? Sure, we'll do that here in a minute. So what we got here, sir? This is a 1996 Ford F-250 chassis, running gear, engine, transmission, rear end. Uh, that's all it's Ford, and everything else is basically handmade by me or somebody else. Uh, the front hood and fenders, and then the cab and the sleeper area is made by Little Big Rig in Hermitage, Tennessee. This one's still registered as a 96 Ford, which law enforcement says, you can't do that, but I usually went out. <laughs> Number two over here has already gone through DOT, had the title and a new VIN number issued to it. So it's registered as a 2018 assembled pickup truck here in Florida. So this one's a 96, that's a 2018, but Chassis and all, that's actually a 1997 F-250 chassis. I love it. And then, uh, what are these uh, a replica of? Uh, 379 Peterbilt, 5A scale. I love it. I appreciate you. Okay. What's going on, mother truckers? I'm here with my really good friend, Jerry. You guys haven't seen him. We've we done video collaborations for years now. I'll tell you that. And I remember back, you used to have one little peep. Now? We got two. We got two little peeps. So why'd you get a second little peep? Well, that's hard to say. But my question to you, where's my girlfriend? I know, she's at home, Jenna's at home. Jenna, hi. Hi, Jenna. Yeah, I hear you. I'll call her later so you can talk to her. Okay. You know? Anyway, uh, this is, Number two is my investment for the future. Because a guy like me is going to buy it, ain't it? For double the price, probably. No. Uh, from my understanding, of course, things changed, that the Bob, the, the engineer and developer of these little peats, is retiring, and he will not sell the moles or the rights of these trucks. So next year, when he supposedly is going to turn 80, he's going to retire. So what's the value of these trucks going to go? Right now, you already have over 100000 plus, so it's going to be a million dollars. So just, t let's take a million. Well, I don't know. But I do know that before I painted the other one, number one, like you saw down in Wildwood, I had a guy lay 200 cash on the hood and I wouldn't take it. So what's that tell you? When we say 200 people, that's 200 no thousand yeah two dollars two hundred thousand so can you walk us around this real quick well this one's a little bit different than number one i call them number one and number two all right so how's number two doing all right number two here uh is a little different from number one this one i got the door in the sleeper area instead of a sleeper like in the other one these bucket seats make some bad so they got four buckets okay and if you can see all these animals in here. Yes, sir. Are you curious? Uh, a little bit curious. Well, tomorrow after the award ceremony, I'm going to give out tickets uh, to all the kids that are here under 12, 12 and under, and let them draw for a number, or if I get their, whoever's number's called, 
will get their choice of a, of a stuffed animal. You're just a really great guy, Jerry. Because this whole operation, this whole show is about the kids. It's not about who gets the trophies, who spend so many hours cleaning their truck. It's about something for the kids. Most truck shows are for money. And, you know, uh, the promoters of, of this show and all the helpers and, and the donators are for the kids. That's you great. know, most of the assets that are taken in for all of the uh, entry fees and the vendors making money and their entry fees, that's all donated to the family of the sick kid. And uh, that's what it's all about. Well, you know, all us mother truckers appreciate what you're doing out here. And it's great to see all of us here at the Shine in the Pines in Dublin, Georgia today. You got that right. Yes, sir. And tomorrow, you know, uh, yeah, I'd like to have the trophies. You but, want the trophy? You better yeah. stop with me now. But, but We're uh, friends, okay? But, you you yeah. need to start being honest but, with me. But uh, let me tell you a story. Last year, I got first place. Yes, he did. And the guy that was handing out the trophies gave him the second place, the first place trophy. So I got the second place. And so the promoter said, I'll mail you a big one. I said, no, don't worry about it. You got it covered. So, you know. But we're back for the right trophy, aren't we? We'll see. What, it's, what, it's what the people think. Yes, sir. Let's walk around. Let's walk around the whole thing. So, I mean, what, what's the build? I mean, how do you get one like this? You know, walk us around it because this is all special build right here. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's time and money. And look at the interior in this one. They're, they're still a little piece, but they're different. A little touch of everybody and what they want and how they want to do it. It's like the heat shields on these, they got the holes in them, the other one are solid. Uh, it's beautiful. I love it. What kind of motor we got under here? 7.3. A 7.3? Just like the other one. Just like the other one? Yeah. 7.3 what, Jerry? Ford. Ford? Yeah. Uh, the frame's stretched on this one a little bit. It's a little longer wheelbase, about 10 or 12 inches longer. Oh, it looks great, brother. I love it. I love it. You know, now when they say little Pete, we see uh, uh, a regular size Pete right here. You think we could back this baby up and kind of really compare uh, how a difference in size is really is? Sure, we'll do that here in a minute. Got to wait till my polishers get through here. That's cool, you know. Big Daddy, Big Daddy detailing and polishing here at the truck show. I saw you a couple years ago, sir. That's right. Working hard. Every day. You know, let's give you some shine right now. <laughs> Who are you? Who's Big Daddy? Uh, JJ Lamb, AC29, Brunswick, Georgia, Big Daddy's detailing and polishing. How can they find you? You can look us up on Facebook, Big Daddy's detailing and polishing. You can uh, check out my work at JJ Lamb. And give us a call, 912-324-1544. Hey! See you, uh, Alex. I only hire the best. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, if I don't want to do it myself, I hire the best. Is that right? So is Big Daddy the best? You see who's doing it. That's right. <laughs> I heard that. It's not the first year he's worked for me. That's right. All right, Jerry, we got a little taste of uh, a Lil Pete number two. So let's look at Lil Pete number one, walk around the build and let us know what you got going on, brother. All right, since you saw it down in Wildwood a year and a half ago or whatever it was, I've added the graphics to it, okay? Uh, added a few more lights on the back. Got some lights underneath for the light shows. Few more lights and shine back here. And you can see between two and one, number one, the bed's wider, number two. That's because the wife wanted an air bed. So 
Wife gets what she wants. Is that what it is? Yeah, she's my CFO. Is that right? You know what that is? What that is? Chief Financial Officer. That's right, sir. So anyway, this one's been stretched a few a foot, a foot or two longer, wheelbase. Uh, like I say, the graphics. Uh, the interior is about the same as what you saw before. Let's open it up. Take a look. Beautiful, brother. What we got under this hood? It's the same engine. It's been worked on a little bit. Uh, it's not really for show, but it'll go. Show and go. Show and go, right? Same engine. What engine we got under here? 7.3 Ford diesel. Uh, I do have some customs coil springs in the front. You ever seen some springs painted the same color as a truck? I tell you, that's something nice, ain't it? Huh? Yeah, that that's was, something nice. You like that? Yes, sir. Uh, let me go around here and I'll crank it up. I know you forgot what it sounds like. Of course. Let's hear this monster. All right. 